So we've gone over motion scroll effect, opacity scroll effect, and slideshow scroll effect. So in this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to add a scroll effect to an edge animate animation. So to do that, you simply go to scroll effects. And if you don't see the scroll effects panel, you simply go to window, click on scroll effects, and I'll click it again to bring it back up. There we go. So here we are in the scroll effects panel. And the first one here is motion scroll effect. The second one is opacity scroll effect. The third one is the slideshow scroll effect. And then we have the edge animate scroll effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an animation that I've created in edge animate and it's a .oem file. So to add it to Adobe Muse, I simply click, hold and drag and place it onto my Adobe Muse website. So there's the animation. And if I hit command shift E to preview in the browser, or I could go to file view page and browser. This is the animation and we can see that it automatically plays very well. So what we want to do is we want to add a scroll effect to this animation so that when the user scrolls, the animation plays. So to do that, we simply click on the animation on the edge animate animation. We click on edge animate and we want to, we want it to advance every, let's say every 100 pixels. We want the animation to advance one second, every 100 pixels. And we're going to start with this scroll effect. Uh, we're going to start it immediately so we can put the key position at the top of the browser. So this effect will start immediately. If we put it a little bit lower, we'll have a little bit of scroll space and then this animation or the scroll effect will kick in, but we want to put it at the top of the browser so that it kicks in right away. And now we want to add more scroll space so that we can scroll through the website. So I'll just grab this tab here at the bottom and bring the website down excuse me, up this first tab here and I'll just drag down. So we have plenty of scroll space. Very well. So now I'm going to preview this in the browser. So I'll go to file preview page and browser and I'll start scrolling and we can see that that animation is moving as I scroll. So the animation scrolls up. So what we want to do is fix it so that it doesn't move. So we can pin it by clicking the pin button right up here and I'm going to pin it to the top so that this edge animate animation does not move. So now I'll go to file preview page and browser. And if I scroll, we have the animation moving as I scroll. And because I set this animation to play infinitely, it's just going to keep uh, doing the same motion uh, over and over as you scroll. So this is me moving the scroll mouse. And as I scroll, the animation plays. And if I go slow, I can control the animation with my mouse wheel. If we set the animation to play every 200 pixels, well, then it would go a little bit slower. I'll go to file preview page and browser. It'll go a little bit slower because now it's only moving one second every 200 pixels. So it is a little bit slower. And you can set how quickly or how slowly you want it to play simply by changing how how quickly you want it to play every second. You can set the pixels here in this area. So I now set it to 50. I'll preview page in browser. And now it's very quick as I scroll through the website. Very good. I think 100 or 200 is good for this animation play to play at one second. And again, we can move the key position. So if I hit, so I move the key position down a little bit lower. So now I'll go to file preview page in browser. And it won't start until I move a little bit past that key position, which is right about here. So I'm actually scrolling right now. And once I hit that key position, now it starts. So you could put it, the element more down in the browser and have it start moving when you get to the, to the element. So if I move it down here, I'll go to file preview page in browser and I'll start to scroll. And because we have it fixed pinned, I'll, I'll remove the pin. I'll go to file preview page in browser. Now I start scrolling and the element's gonna start moving right about there because that key position hits the top of the browser. So it can make for a very interesting effect in Adobe Muse. And you can see what you all, all the things you can do with it. Very well. And we can also have it autoplay. So if I center this back here to the top and I click on autoplay here in the scroll effects panel, the animation will start to autoplay as soon as this key position hits the top of the browser. So now I'll go to file preview page and browser. And as I scroll, 
it hits that key position and it starts to play. Very nice. Looks great. And if we take off any of the scroll effects in Edge Animate, well, the animation will just play how we set it up in Edge Animate. Very good. So it just plays there. So again, Edge Animate, we want it to autoplay. Let's say we wanted it to autoplay like around here. Once this key position hits the top of the browser, it's going to start to autoplay. So initially it's not autoplaying and then I scroll a little bit and then it autoplays. Just imagine that key position right up there. And as you can see, when you scroll down, it kind of goes back to its original position. Very good. So it scrolls a little bit, picture the key position there. We scroll up a little bit and then it auto plays. Very nice. So that's adding scroll effects to an edge anime animation. And that's it for this video tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial.